Okay, so the OnePlus 10 series users, the wait is almost over. OnePlus has started rolling out Oxygen OS 15 closed beta builds for OnePlus 10 Pro. But it do lacks on some of the features and we'll talk about every feature, what's missing and what's new have been added. So now without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my OnePlus 10 Pro which I've already updated to the latest build of Oxygen OS 15. So if I go to about section, here you can see Oxygen OS 15, device name is OnePlus 10 Pro. If I go to the version, this build comes with 5th November 2024 security patch and if you see the version number which is 15.0.0.301. Basically it's a closed beta update guys, so I had applied for closed beta and yesterday I received this update. You can see the update size was 3.50G. If you guys are not a part of closed beta testing, then you won't receive this OTA update. As per the timeline, OnePlus 10 series will receive stable version of Oxygen OS 15 in the month of Jan, which includes 10 Pro and 10T. For OnePlus 10R, the update Update will roll out in Feb 2025. So for this month, we'll have three to four closed beta builds for OnePlus 10 Pro. But I'll keep you guys posted about all the upcoming changes and new features what you guys will see on your OnePlus 10 Pro with Oxygen OS 15. And guys, many users say that it's a repeated content. So on our channel, we do have people who want specific video for their devices. That's the reason I try to cover almost every OnePlus smartphone with whatever update it gets. So if you are the one who finds the content repeated, then you can avoid that particular video and you can watch the video for your specific device whenever we release a video but now before moving ahead we have 85 percent of users who haven't subscribed to our channel so if you guys find our content useful to you guys then make sure to smash the like button and also consider subscribing to our channel now first let's talk about the ai features so sadly there is not even a single ai feature oneplus have added on oneplus 10 pro you consider in the gallery application we don't even have the ai eraser feature we have this remover feature which was long back added with oneplus smartphones but the ai eraser feature have still not been added it's not only like AI eraser along with that AI detail boost and image enhancement nothing have been added on OnePlus 10 Pro with the first close beta and the same thing goes with the applications like notes here also they haven't added the AI note assistant and even in the recorder application we don't have the feature of AI summary I was expecting AI features like what we get to see on OnePlus Nord series things like AI summary AI speak because these features don't require much of hardware capabilities and I hope with the upcoming updates of close beta OnePlus do introduce some AI features even on OnePlus 10 Pro. But other than that, they haven't missed out on anything. One major thing which a lot of users were worried about and that's the animation part. So if you see the change logs here, they do say ultra animation effect. So with this update, we are getting a brand new system graphic engine that's all about smoother and faster animation. It uses something called parallel drawing architecture, which basically means if you are switching between apps or pushing your phone to the limits, the visual stays buttery smooth without any stutters. Plus animation now also covers more elements like widgets, folders and components so transitions feel smooth and fluid even during heavy multitask. Slide jitters we did notice with the first close beta while switching the applications but these things can be easily improved and it's nice to see that OnePlus haven't excluded OnePlus 10 Pro when it comes to animation. One change which I personally did not like and that's layer to the live capsule. So if you guys have seen our previous videos of Oxygen OS 15 we do have an live alert feature on devices like OnePlus 10 Pro and OnePlus 11 the camera out is towards the left hand side and I thought the dynamic island implementation will be done as per the camera cutout but that's not the story here oneplus haven't done that live capsule appears in the center like how we see on other oneplus smartphones so here you can see if I go back you can see the live capsule is in the center it's not implemented as per the camera cutout and which looks kind of weird i hope in future oneplus do make some changes so as we are talking about the live capsule it do supports applications like swiggy and zomato there are few system applications which are music playback game timer service personal hotspot screen recorder etc and here you do have two options one is to open the live capsule in a card and the second one is in application so if you have selected view in card whenever you tap on the live capsule a card will pop up but if you have selected open application and then you tap on the live capsule it opens up the application though currently it's slightly jittery or i would say laggy but with the upcoming updates i am expecting this thing to get improved and one change which i haven't mentioned in my previous videos of oxygen os 15 that's led to the settings page for example if you are exiting the settings page and you have opened the sub settings in our case we have opened wallpaper and style section if i close the settings page and it doesn't matter if i use any application later on if i go to the settings page it doesn't open the main page it opens that particular sub setting itself for some users it might be useful but i personally don't like it and we also don't get the support of live 
photos in camera application which we have seen on other oneplus smartphones like even oneplus nord 4. you can see here icon which is of live photos but it's good to see that oneplus have added the locks and customization on oneplus 10 pro also and here the transition is super smooth i did not see any kind of jitters or lag till now everything is super fluid so if you're oneplus 10 pro user you can customize the lock screen by going to settings page wallpapers and style section and here we have the flux theme on the main preview you'll have five to six presets but tapping on more you can access all the presets present on flux theme according to your requirement you can set we do have these amazing healing moments where you can use the photos of your pet and talking about the customization options we do have options to add the depth effect towards the bottom side we have this option so if you enable depth effect you can see nice detailing between the background and foreground you also have some styles which includes some glass patterns and you can also adjust the intensity of blur towards the bottom side in this particular theme we do have some photo frames also and along with that you can also customize the background color for the clocks we do have some fonts available in some of the themes you can also make changes in the clock styles so let me show you that example here going to never settle tapping on clock here you can see we also have the clock styles available where you can also add some additional info like weather and footstep and similar way here also we have clock fonts options ability to make font bolder and adjust color intensity you can use different wallpapers for home screen and lock screen and it's not like you need to use the wallpapers what they have given you can also use the custom wallpapers from your device but we can't set the custom text here we have to use the text what they have given so these are some of the theme options available for the locks and customization we also have a brand new charging animation and this is how it looks whenever you plug in your device even on oneplus 10 pro we don't have the new volume slider which we have seen on other oneplus smartphones it's the same old oneplus volume slider and if we talk about the alert slider now we do have the support of alert slider in the live capsule also which you can see here so if i change the ringing modes that can be seen in the live capsule form in the launcher also we do have some changes first talking about the icon so here we have two brand new icons one is this radiance one and the second one is this shadow one which gives you this black background i personally like the radiance one because if you apply this you get some new icons for the oneplus stock applications for example clock calculator etc and along with that there are more changes done in the launcher and one of the most awaited is layer to app drawer so now you can change the drawer layout to five columns instead of four columns and it looks pretty organized acquiring less space in the app drawer after that there's also an option of enhance animation effect and which looks eye pleasing so by default itself it's selected to enhance and this is how the animation looks for the folder you have this nice bouncy effect whenever you open any folder with that pretty nice blur effect in the background also whenever you move around any application and later on drop it on the screen you can see that ripple effect it's similar to what we get to see even on oneplus flagship smartphones on this device we still don't have the support of offline tracking basically oneplus is removing that feature which was initially introduced with oxygen os 15 and now let's talk about the control center. So here we have the new control center of Oxygen OS 15. You can customize the quick setting panel. There are two options now. One is the split, which is a newer one. And the second one is classic. So classic one looks something like this. With a single swipe, you have the access to notification. With the second swipe, you can have access to the control center. Here we do have access to limited quick setting tiles. But if you are using the split one and whenever you swipe from the right top corner, you can see the entire page is now covered with the control center or you can say quick settings. To access the notification panel, either you have to slide from the left side or if you have opened the quick setting tiles or the control center, you can swipe towards the right hand side to see the notifications. And here also OnePlus have given that nice blur effect in the control center and notification panel. You can customize the quick setting tiles, but we don't have an option to resize them. I hope that that thing also gets added with the upcoming builds and if you have messed up with the quick setting layout you can just tap on reset quick setting layout with a single click you can reset the entire thing and have the default layout now talking about some changes done in the application so first change what you'll see and that's in the calculator application so now here also on this device we do have the easter egg of oneplus never settle so whenever you type oneplus equals you'll see the easter egg of never settle in the calculator application and even in the gallery application we do have some changes for example if you edit any of the photos like you make changes in the exposure and other stuff and later on replace the photo with the original one still you have an option to revert to the default settings so if you go to edit again you'll see an option which will revert to the default settings of that particular photo and now if you open any of the categories you do have an option to filter which lets you make changes like only if you want to show photos that can be done videos and the favorite one and if you want all of them we do have the toggle of that 
Some minor changes have also been done in the My Files application. Here towards the right side, we have a cleanup option. Basically, it lets you free up the storage and this feature can be really helpful. It lets you clear the caches which builds up in the background. And here we have a system boost option, tapping on it. With a single click, you can boost your device performance. But remember, this will clear the background applications. Phone manager application have been added on Oxygen S15, which lets you optimize your device by clearing the caches. And you also have some tools layer to battery, cleanup photos, app lock, app cloner, and image. SOS. And if you see the recent page here, there is a slight difference compared to other OnePlus smartphones. On other OnePlus smartphones, we have the text of close all, but here we just have a cross icon. I hope in future they might change. Personally, for me, the text version looks better. For the notification, we do have that similar implementation. So whenever you receive any notification, you just have to drag it towards the bottom side. That notification will open in the pop-up view. Tapping here, we have options like full screen, minimize or close. And you also have this gesture support using which you can resize the floating windows. One thing if you see here on OnePlus Nord 4, we don't get to see any transparency in the smart sidebar. But here on OnePlus 10 Pro, there's slight transparency and I feel this looks better compared to the pitch white background which we are seeing on OnePlus Nord 4. You guys let me know in the comment section below, according to you guys, which one you prefer. And if you have opened any application, for example, here we have the Chrome application open. If you swipe up for the recent page, you'll see two new options. One is layer to split screen and the second one is layer to floating windows. So if you want to open that application in the splits view, just drag it towards the left hand side. And if you want to open it in the floating windows, then just drag it towards the right hand side and drop it. We have an upgraded version of hide applications. So if you are the one who hides the application, now OnePlus have given an option to customize the home screen icon, which lets you customize the icon of the hidden application. And you can also change the name of that particular app or the folder so that people doesn't get to know that it consists of hidden application. We still have these two methods to open. One is access via home screen and the second one is access via dial pad. So here you can see this is how it appears if you haven't customized the icon and the app name. Now let's go to the settings page. So if you guys remember on the OG Oxygen OS, we had a very nice color palette which was black and white. And now the same thing can be done. So here you can see under featured color, we have a two tone option. Once this is applied and if you go to the main settings page, now you can see we have a black and white theme or you can see the color palette. And it also applies to the things like control center. This gives an OG Oxygen OS vibe. Another feature what they have added that's layered to the share with iPhone. So now even with OnePlus 10 Pro, you can share files, I mean the larger files with iPhones with no time. You just have to install the OConnect application on iPhone and you're good to go. And when it comes to always on display, here we have a seamless option which is a part of Flux theme where you get to see this seamless transition. You also have the option to select the basic one. Other than that, we don't have any new AOD styles. Under fingerprint animation, we have this Halo fingerprint animation, which is added on almost every OnePlus smartphone. Under battery, they haven't added the battery health feature. So still, we don't have an option to check out the battery health of OnePlus 10 Pro. Under system and update, we have an Android 15 feature, which is called as repair mode. So basically, if you want to give your device for servicing, you can enter the repair mode. And here, the engineer won't be able to access your personal data. They can still repair your phone without having access to your personal data. So guys, these are all the Oxygen OS 15 features what you'll see on OnePlus 10 Pro. With the upcoming close beta builds, we might get to see more changes and I'll keep you guys posted about the same thing. And let me know in the comment section below whether you guys want the detailed review of this close beta builds. If you guys agree, we'll do a detailed review of it also. As of now, only this much in this video. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.